life is very short and we do not have time to waste. So it is important for you and I to know when to let go of certain things. My name is Jesse Mwai and thank you so much for tuning in. And I want to just share with you three things that you need to know when to let go. Because if you don't let go, those things are bound to pull you back and stop you or slow you down on your journey in life. The first thing that you must know when to let go, because timing is everything, is dysfunctional relationships. In other words, when I talk about dysfunctional relationships, I'm talking about relationships that no longer work. I mean, in fact, if anything, now they are robbing you of your joy. They have become demanding on you. They leave you drained. They leave you tired. You're no longer deriving any pleasure from relating to this person, to relating to that individual. Maybe you have even tried everything, but it's still not working. But maybe because you're a loyal friend, maybe because you had committed to this relationship, you find yourself hanging on, but you can tell it's no longer working. It's no longer adding up and it's draining you. Every time you relate with this person, you find yourself uh, feeling very depleted after that. I mean, it doesn't, there's no... Uh, it doesn't add to you. You don't feel like you you are in, you are encouraged. You don't feel like you are energized. But instead, you feel like you are depleted. It is important for you to know when to let go of dysfunctional relationships because relationships play a huge role in your journey, in the journey of faith, in your journey to greatness, in any journey that you can talk about in life the things that you want to achieve. So if you have relationships that are dysfunctional and you're hanging on to them, they will affect you and they will pull you back and they will depress you. So it's important for you to know when to let go. There are people who come into our lives only for a season, right? There are people who just come for a year and God uses them for a season to be a blessing to us. But it's important for me to know when to let go. Not all relationships are meant to be with you for the re I mean the rest of the way all right some relationships were never meant to be with you for the long term they were just maybe for a short period and then after that you're able to move on uh, and by the way you'll find that sometimes when you move on and when you let go you will find that it becomes easier even to relate with that particular person you will find yourself a bit feeling a bit lighter so the first thing is you must let go know when to let go of this functional relationships. The second thing is know when to let go of those wrong perceptions and belief systems. Sometimes and too many times you talk to people and you discover the reason why they don't succeed, the reason why they're struggling in certain areas, maybe in relationships or even maybe in career, is because they carry some wrong perceptions or wrong belief systems. You know, they believe certain things that they have never interrogated. They believe certain, you know, uh, believe certain things which, which were just passed on to them or they had people talking about it or maybe that's how they were socialized. They believe certain things. For instance, you end up believing, believing certain things about certain group of people. Oh, those people are like this, they are like that. And it's not necessarily true. Or probably you're the type who believe that, oh, in this country, in my country, you can never succeed unless you are corrupt. Or you can never make it unless you, 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 you're you ready to bend the rules. Those are belief systems that sometimes we carry. Those are things that sometimes, perceptions that we believe to be true, that are not necessarily true. And sometimes they hold us back. Or maybe somebody told you that you will never make it in this life. Or maybe somebody spoke down at you. Or maybe somebody uh, came and, uh, and, and, and called you a certain name and it has never left you. It's important for you to know when to let go. Know when to let go of those perceptions. Know when to let go of those lies that maybe you have held on to. Interrogate some of those things, those ideologies that you have. It's important for you to know when to let go if you are going to make any progress in this journey that we are on. Then finally, number three, know when to let go of experiences. Now, and experiences can either be good, they can also be bad. Some of us get stuck sometimes with bad experiences, things that happened to us that we had no control over, we had no choice in the matter, maybe you were abused, maybe you went through a difficulty somewhere, and yes, it has been difficult for you, 
but know when to let go of those experiences. And you can do so. Find help, find intervention, find counseling, but don't hold on to those as difficult and as painful, as traumatic as those experiences may have been. It is important for you to let go so that you can move on to the things that God has in store for you. But then also, experiences can be good experiences. You know, the success you may have had, some accomplishment that you go. But sometimes we get so stuck with the, our accomplishments and the good things that have happened to us or the things that we did and we are so proud of them. And yes, it's good to rejoice over them. But listen, sometimes our success can also be the enemy of our progress. So even when you have succeeded, when you have accomplished, please, there is so much more ahead for you. So know when to let go. Say, thank God that happened. Thank God we accomplished that. That was a good thing that we did. That was a wonderful blessing that we received. But it's time to move on to the other things that God has in store for you. Sometimes you've met people who are stuck in a relationship relate, or, or, or stuck in an experience that happened years ago. And they have never, ever been able to move beyond that experience. Friend, know when to let go of some of these things. Because life is a matter of, of reaching forward and letting go. Reaching forward, you cannot reach forward unless you let go of some of these things. May the Lord help you. And may the Lord be with you, even as you choose to let go of some of these things. And I know that list is not comprehensive, but there could be other things maybe that have come to your mind. Please let go so that you can be able to stretch forth your hand and move on to everything that God has in store for you. God bless you. Please share this video. Share this wisdom with somebody, uh, you know, on our social media platforms, on Facebook, uh, YouTube. And may the Lord bless you and may the Lord keep you and may the Lord cause his face to shine upon you. God bless you. Thank you.